So I just finished watching Sonic 2 in theaters, and it was pretty good. And me being the Sonic fan with no life that I am, I decided to make an Easter egg video off of it. Now this is after one watch through with um, me only seeing in the theater, so I'm gonna probably miss a lot of stuff. And obviously, spoilers. Number one being the most obvious is the Mushroom Hill Zone. First shown in Sonic and Knuckles, or Sonic 3. This is also where Robotnik meets Knuckles for the first time after the explosion to call for life off world. Similar to how Tails finds Sonic from the f baseball field incident in the first movie. Number two, Eggman's more game accurate look with the bald head and stunning stash, topped with the red suit and goggles. Number three, Robotnik summons the Echidna Warriors and proceeds to murder the last four living Echidnas, which I'm surprised Knuckles isn't more upset about. I mean, those are the last of his kind. But this also leads to Eggman referencing the Do You Know The Way meme, telling Knuckles, I can show you the way. Number four, this might be a bit of a stretch, but when Sonic throws the bombs in the sewers, causing the water to burst out through the manholes, this could be a reference to Perfect Chaos when he attacks the city in Sonic Adventure, since he causes water to burst out of the ground in buildings. Number five, Sonic falls asleep while fishing with Tom in the beginning of the movie, and he starts screaming about how he can't swim, which I believe is the first time that this disability is mentioned, with Sonic not being able to swim. Number six, in the same scene, Tom talks about how Sonic is in Batman. That's just, they, they just mentioned Batman and Sonic, which is the second DC reference, yet no Marvel references. Number seven, when Tails steals a cop's car outside the cafe called Mean Bean, it's an obviously a reference to the incredibly popular game, Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. And if you have not heard of this game, you must have been living under a rock. There's no way you haven't played this game. It was everywhere. It's the highest grossing video game ever. Bonus Easter egg later when Wade patrols the town on a scooter. That's because he never got his car back from Tails after he crashed it. Number eight. While chasing Sonic and Tails in the cop car, Knuckle glides onto the roof, which is obviously his main ability from the game, is being able to glide and climb onto walls. Number nine. When Agent Stone sends Eggman a pod full of machines and badniks, you can see the oval-shaped drones from the last movie, but you can also see the wasp badniks buzzers from the game. Also, Eggman fucking flosses, for the love of god, we don't want to see flossing in Sonic movies. Number 10, after Knuckles fails to catch Sonic and Tails and falls off the cliff, he's seen climbing up the side of the cliff. Like I mentioned earlier, it's another one of his main abilities. Also, when Tails carries Sonic away, it reminds me of the third game during Marble Garden Zone for the final boss fight of it. Number 11, when Sonic and Tails go to the mountains, when they first get in the cabin, they're, they're playing a song, which I'm pretty sure is a reference. I, I couldn't guess what it was, but it sounds like some a song from one of the old games. Number 12, when Sonic and Tails find the Master Emerald Compass in the mountains, the place where it's kept reminds me of a miniature version of the altar where the Master Emerald is kept in the Sonic Adventure games. Number 13. Now, we're told in the movie that the Master Emerald was forged when the seven Chaos Emeralds were merged together. Now, we know that's complete bullshit in the game, because the Master Emerald acts more like a father to the Chaos Emeralds. But in this movie, the compass is used to look for the Master Emerald, and it looks like it has seven glowing gems around it, which are supposed to represent the seven Chaos Emeralds. Number 14. The Ice Cap Zone in the third game starts with Sonic falling after blowing up the flying battery, and he lands in a snow pile before snowboarding down a mountain. That happens in the movie after escaping Eggman and Knuckles, which is a clear reference. Also, we got our first Marvel reference with Sonic calling Knuckles the Winter Soldier. Number 15, Knuckles and Sonic have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation where it's revealed that Knuckles is the last of the Echidnas, just like he is in the game. But in the games, there's also another Echidna named Takao who was sealed inside the Master Emerald. So maybe there's a chance that she could appear in the movies alongside Chaos. Number 16. During Rachel's wedding in the background, you see a biplane fly by several times. And this is supposed to be the tornado, which I'm assuming later on Tails just steals. Number 17. Another Olive Garden product placement when the general, I cannot remember his name, walks in and Tom calls him the Olive Garden guy for giving him the Olive Garden card at the end of the last movie. Number 18. After the events of the first movie, the US creates a new military division called Gun which is also in the game's first appearing in Sonic 2, and GUN stands for the Guardian Units of Nations. Number 19, when Maddie throws one of Tails' weapons on the ground, causing a gun agent to fly into the air, which most definitely did kill him. It looks like a bounce pad from some of the Sonic games. 
Number 20. When Eggman and Knuckles finally arrive to the hidden palace of the Master Emerald, I'm pretty sure the palace was supposed to be in the Labyrinth Zone from Sonic 1. This is made clear during the credits when Sonic and Robotnik are running through the Labyrinth Zone for the Master Emerald, which uses the same exact sprites as the first game. Number 21. We can actually see a full-scale version of the Master Emerald altar with the actual Master Emerald atop it. Number 22. When Sonic and Knuckles fight, and Sonic slams his body down on Knuckles several times, it's a reference to Mighty from Sonic Mania. And if you press jump while in the air, he slams his body down. Number 23. While Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles fly towards Green Hill, Sonic jumps on top of the tornado like he does in the game when he rides it. Number 24. Eggman uses his new powers to take apart jeeps, tanks, and helicopters to create the Death Egg robot. But unfortunately we didn't get the Death Egg, so I guess it's just the robot. Also, where the hell did Eggman get these powers from? I do not know of any game where he has powers to take apart machines. Alright, I messed up. This was supposed to go earlier, but back at Ice Cap Zone, Sonic was supposed to throw a missile at Robotnik and say Return to Sender, which is an obvious reference to Minecraft with the achievement Return to Sender. Number 26, when Tails and Knuckles get inside the Death Egg robot and Knuckles punches the Master Emerald out of Robotnik, this is a reference to Sonic 3 when he punched Sonic in the beginning, causing all the Chaos Emeralds to fall out. Number 27, when Sonic finally gets the Master Emerald, it powers down and breaks, freeing all the Chaos Emeralds, which at the climax of the fight, Eggman somehow still powers the Death Egg robot and is about to kill Sonic and gang, but the Chaos Emeralds spin around like they do in the game and increase his power level to not over 9,000 and allows Sonic to beat the living shit out of Robotnik. Number 29. After the fight against Eggman, Knuckles is finally chill with Sonic and Tails, like he is in the game when Sonic recovers the Master Emerald and he no longer thinks of Sonic as the bad guy, and realizes that Eggman is the true villain. 30. Knuckles at the end of the movie seems incredibly stupid, like he's portrayed in modern games, but in the movies it seems to just be a lack of knowledge for Earth culture, but still. I don't think he can eat solid food. Well, then put it in the blender. Well, if you say Number so. 31. At the end of the movie, the Olive Garden General is talking to this female gun agent who appeared earlier in the movie. And I feel like with all the screen time she's getting, she might be supposed to be a live action version of Topaz from Sonic X in the comics. 32. The final credit scene talks about Eggman's ancestor 50 years ago in the past. And as soon as he said that, I freaked out. Because. That means one thing. They were talking about Sonic Adventure 2 with the Space Colony arc, and the one thing that was kept on the Space Colony arc was number 33, fucking Shadow the Hedgehog. Finally, he has a live-action appearance, and I cannot wait to see him in the third movie, which is apparently already planned to be released in February of next year, just nine months away from when this was recorded. Overall, this movie is pretty good. It seemed a bit more cartoony than the last one, which bothered me a bit, but that was just the beginning. As it went on, it got better, and I cannot wait to get this on digital and have better quality.